The idea of regenerative medicine is how can we restore form and function of diseased tissue through biological processes instead of just these mechanical and hardware processes. So regenerative medicine could just be transplanting human tissue. So this could be living tissue, we call that autograph. Take bone from one part of your body, transplant it to another, maybe bone from a part of your body that's not load-bearing and so you could spare it, so to speak. Um, you can also get uh, dead tissues, so um, allograft tissue. And so this is still um, classified as regenerative medicine because you're using the biologics. And it's probably the most simple form. The next one um, is cellular therapy. I'm going to cover this in less detail. This is a topic we talked about uh, in our last mini medical school, um, as specifically stem cell therapy. There's also this idea of tissue engineering, and we're going to talk uh, quite a bit about tissue engineering and this idea of maybe regrowing an entire organ and how you might do that. Gene therapy. So if you have a disease that is um, caused by a particular mutation, can we go in and edit that particular part of the gene so that you um, can take out the bad DNA and put in um, better DNA. And so the last one is just, can you inject something that will stimulate endogenous repair? So can you trigger the body to heal itself? And so the goal of regenerative medicine is really this idea of, can we capitalize on the innate regenerative capacity of bones and cartilage in our skeleton? Um, to learn from it, but also to accelerate it or use it when we don't have, um, when, that, when that natural tendency isn't there. So who knows what this animal is? There you go, the winning prize in the back is the axolotl. So we do look to the axolotl as inspiration for regenerative medicine. So this is one of the few species, Nathan, correct me if I'm wrong, who can regrow an entire limb. And not just heal it with scar tissue, but actually regenerate a full limb. So this is a picture, if you chop off the leg of this axolotl, it will slowly regrow. The fingers will reform, the muscles will come back, the vasculature will come back, it will fully regenerate. There are some things, lizards and salamanders' tails have the ability to regenerate to some extent, but they often, it's more of a healing response, not this full regenerative response. So the axolotl we can use as an example to start to study the molecular, cellular, and genetic mechanisms that are regulating regeneration, and then we can try to capitalize on those principles, those basic principles for human regeneration.